World of Dentistry Dental Solutions for Your Dental Needs Did you know that dental infections can spread to the body? Hello everyone! Have you ever wondered if dental infections can spread to other parts of the body? In this video, we will tell you everything you need to know about dental infections, their causes, symptoms, and consequences. Many people don't pay enough attention to dental infections. However, they can be dangerous and even deadly if not treated early. So pay attention and learn how to identify a dental infection and prevent serious future complications. Let's start with the most important question. What is a dental infection? In short, dental infections are a process in which pathogenic microorganisms, such as bacteria, viruses, or fungi colonize living tissue. In the advanced state, an accumulation of pus occurs, known as a dental abscess. Before an abscess occurs, dental infections can be almost imperceptible since most of the time they are asymptomatic. However, depending upon the origin of the infection, dental abscesses can be seen in different parts of the mouth, such as the gums, the roots of the teeth, or the jaw. Why do dental infections appear, and what are their symptoms? The buildup of bacteria that cause dental infections occur for a number of reasons, including advanced tooth decay, gum disease, wisdom teeth, dental trauma, or inflammation of the dental nerve. Tooth decay is caused by acid produced by bacteria in the mouth. This acid destroys the hard tissues of the tooth, such as enamel and dentin. If a cavity is not treated in time, it can progress and affect the dental nerve, which then causes intense pain, swelling of the face and sensitivity to acid, sweets, cold and heat. Gum diseases, known as gingivitis and periodontitis, manifest when there is an accumulation of plaque or tartar in the space between the gum and the tooth. This condition causes inflammation and, if not treated in time, it becomes an infection that produces an abscess at the gum level. The infection that occurs in the wisdom teeth is called pericoronitis and occurs when bacteria or food debris is introduced into the gum that covers these teeth in the process of eruption. This causes pain, redness, separation of the gum, swelling of the face, and dental sensitivity. Dental trauma, such as blows or falls, can also affect the teeth and cause fractures or the death of the dental nerve, thereby increasing the risk of infection. In these cases, it is advisable to go to the dentist as soon as possible. What happens if a dental infection spreads to the body? Many people don't realize how serious a dental infection can be, believing it to be a minor problem that can resolve itself. However, this is not true. If a dental infection is not treated in time, it can spread to other parts of the body and cause serious complications. When a dental infection spreads, the bacteria can enter the bloodstream and affect other body organs. For example, Bacteria can reach the heart and cause endocarditis, the inflammation of the heart's inner lining. They can also cause brain abscesses, pneumonia, and other serious illnesses. How do you know if a dental infection has spread to the body? It is important to watch for symptoms of a dental infection that has spread to the body. Some of the common symptoms include high fever, severe headache, pain in the neck and jaw, difficulty to swallow, difficulty breathing, fatigue and weakness, nausea and vomiting, confusion and behavior changes. If you experience any of these symptoms, it is important to seek medical attention immediately. Early treatment is essential to prevent serious complications. How to prevent dental infections. Good oral hygiene is the key to preventing dental infections. Here are some tips that can help. Brush your teeth at least twice a day with toothpaste containing fluoride. Floss daily to remove plaque and food debris between teeth. Use mouthwash regularly to reduce the number of bacteria in your mouth. Limit your intake of sugary foods and drinks. Visit the dentist regularly for checkups and dental cleanings. In conclusion, it is essential to pay attention to dental infections and seek early treatment to avoid serious complications. 
Good oral hygiene is the key to preventing dental infections and maintaining a healthy smile. That's all for today. We hope this video has been useful to better understand the today's topic. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more information.